In this lecture, I want to introduce you to batch scripts. Now, this is going to be a very basic overview, and I could really make a whole course on uh, batch scripting, but I just want to get your feet wet and let you know that uh, you can make batch scripts and how to do them. Uh, and that way, you can kind of take the lead with it and just learn more about it on your own. So maybe I can make a course about it later if you guys ask me to, or I can add more info uh, to this course about batch scripting if you're interested. Uh, so let's go ahead and just hit the Windows key and let's open command prompt. So we can type in commands right here. So we can list the directory by typing dir. Uh, we can make directories using mk dir. So we can just make a directory called test. Oops, make sure you spell it right. And now if we type in dir again in this list, we'll see the folder test. And there it is at the bottom. Okay, so we could delete the directory if we wanted to. Uh, we can echo things, you know, echo hello world. And then it puts echoes hello world. I guess you don't need the quotation marks on when you're echoing stuff. Uh, so, but we can create a script that would make actions as to create directories and files, delete folders, delete files, uh, or anything that's repetitious. You can write a script called a batch script that will create the directories, delete directories as you need, uh, and do various other tasks. So let's do that. So I'm going to close, and the reason why I showed you command prompt is because it uses the command prompt coding language. So anything you can do in command prompt, you can turn into a, a script. You can list, you know, your network configuration. If you wanted to write a script that would, you know, quickly do that, you can set your IP and do different kind of things. So it's pretty, it's very broad, the different things that you can do. So I'm going to hit the Windows key and I'm going to open Notepad. And we're just going to make our script in Notepad. So first thing I'm going to do is hit File, Save As. And I'm going to go to the desktop. And the Save As type, I'm going to change to All Files. Okay, and I'm going to call this script.bat. Now that stands for batch file. So it's important that you're not saving it as a .txt. If I have this .txt and I call it script.bat, it'll end up being called script.bat.txt. So we need the last extension to be .bat, B-A-T. So I'm ready to save that. So I'm going to hit save and we should see it pop up here on the left. So you can see it has this gear icon. It doesn't have the notepad icon that you see right here. It has this gear um icon so that lets us know that it's saving as a script so let's start writing the script so the first thing that you want to know is how to write a comment because when you're writing code it you might come back three months later and not remember what any of it does so if you write a comment you can explain what the code is doing so let's go ahead and just hit two colons and that is how you specify comments so anything I type in here will not be executed after these two colons so let's just say we're going to use the at off echo command. So we'll say turn off the echo so our script will look professional. Okay. And so now we're going to type in at echo off. So this will keep uh, the batch file from showing unnecessary text. And, and we'll, we'll go back and we'll turn this, we'll delete this line and you'll see the difference. Okay. Now let's just do something kind of fun and let's change the color of our of our font so we're going to say change the color of our text to red and to do that we just type in color oops color four all right and let's make another comment and what we want to do is we want to give some kind of welcome message just because i'm trying to demonstrate what you can do with batch files so we'll just say uh echo a message that welcomes our users okay so now we're going to type in echo uh, welcome to my first script okay we don't need quotation marks and uh, don't be confused that just because we say at echo off doesn't mean that the echo command will not work okay don't be confused about that so now let's go ahead and let's get some user input so get user input and store into a variable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter their first name and then we're going to store it into a variable that we can use later. Now let's go ahead and use the set slash p and type in the name of the variable. We're going to call this variable name. 
So if we want to refer to this later, we'll use percent name percent. So we're going to say equals and then whatever our prompt message is. So I'm going to say, please enter your first name. Okay. And then I'm doing a colon and a space. Okay. So now let's, now we have the user's name because they've entered it on this line. The script will not advance until this uh, variable has been set, variable name. So once we've set the variable name, let's echo out a welcome message, including the user's first name. Can't spell this. User's first name. Okay, so let's say echo, hello, and then we're gonna use this variable right here. So we're gonna type in percent name percent. Hello, percent name percent. Um, just write something crazy. It's good to see you. Okay, sure. All right, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to click on the script. This will be interesting. So it's asking for our first name. So let's type in our first name. But when we press enter, the script just disappears. So is it broken? No, actually it's not. Let's add another line and say, wait for user input. Okay, so we'll type in pause. So what's happening is we're getting to this, the script is pausing, we're entering the name, then it's completing the script, echoing, and then it's exiting the script. So once the script is done, once a batch file is done, when you launch it just by clicking right here, as soon as the script is done, it exits the window. So now that we entered this pause, it'll pause right here and it'll wait for a key press. So now let's type in Paul. And then here you can see it echoes out, hello, Paul, it's good to see you. All right, and press any key to continue, and then it closes the screen. So let's make a directory called whatever the user enters. So if I enter Paul, let's go ahead and build a directory called Paul all in the script. So to do that, we'll make a new line and say, create a new directory based on the user's first name. And the way to do that is just mkdr percent name percent. Okay, that's it. So now when we run the script, I'm going to save the file, double click the script. Please enter your first name, Paul. Hello, Paul. It's good to see you. Close the script. And here we can see it created a directory for us all in the script. And the script is named Paul, what I entered. If I run this again and I name, uh, let's say my name is Marvin. <laughs> so, hi, Marvin. It's good to see you. Now there's a folder for Marvin. So you can see that if I had to make 50 folders for one person, and let's just say name underscore, let's see, uh, pictures. I don't know, I'm just making something up on the fly. And say we had to make three folders for every user that we created. So I'm gonna delete these folders and we're gonna name one pictures, music, and we'll just call the other one software. Okay, so we'll save this script. Say, hello, enter your first name. Name it Paul. Hello, it's good to see you. Close the script. Now we instantly created Paul Pictures, Paul Music, Paul Software. So you can kind of see how this would be useful. Instead of having to manually create all three of these folders, we could just script it. We enter the name and then it creates the music, the folders, the software. Okay, so there's so much more that you could do with batch scripts, but I just want to kind of give you this brief introduction because my goal with this course is to get your feet wet and point you in the right direction. So if the way you find out these commands, basically, I'll show you. Just give me a second here. Uh, let's see. Okay, pop this over here. Okay, here's Google. So let's just say change color of batch file font. How to change color of CMD with Windows Bash Script. And here we go. So you find color zero. We use color number four, and that was red. So if you don't know, if you want to know how to do something, just Google what you want to do, and nine times out of ten, it comes up and you're good to go. So we'll close out of that. And uh, that's it. So we're, I'm just going to close the script. And I'm going to delete these files because I don't need them. I go ahead and delete. Well, I guess, yeah, I'll delete the script too. Uh, so just empty my recycle bin, keep the file size small. So that is your brief introduction into batch scripting. I hope it helps you. And the goal of computers is to complete tasks for you. So we're not building, if you have to do something redundant where you have a new user come in, you have to build three folders for the user. Why not script it and have the computer do it for you 
instead of doing that task over and over again. Okay, it kind of defeats the purpose of computers. The purpose of computers is automation. So I hope that helps you guys, and I will see you in the next lecture.